What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work, the ability to cause motion and change. To understand the fundamental facts of energy, you must have a working knowledge of its terminology. From atoms down to x-ray, sing along and learn with me the ABCs and XYZs of energy. What kinds of energy are there? There's nuclear, mechanical, and solar energy, and electrical, and chemical, and radiant, and heat. There's light and there's magnetic, and that's quite enough for me, cause that makes nine different kinds of energy. There are more, of course, but we won't go into that now. Can energy change from one kind to another? Yes, energy can change from one kind to another. For example, water power can be changed into mechanical energy, and from that into electrical energy. Would you like to see how it happens? Let's take a quick trip to the Grand Coulee Dam. They've got a lot of water at the Grand Coulee Dam. They use a lot of water at the Grand Coulee Dam. They need a lot of water at the Grand Coulee Dam To turn a lot of turbines at the Grand Coulee Dam They change water power The turbines are a humming Change water power Power keeps it coming Change water power The great generators Make electric current at the Grand Coulee Dam The turbines at the Grand Coulee Dam uh -huh. is turning generators at the Grand Coulee Dam yeah. and turning water power at the Grand Coulee Dam into electric currents at the Grand Coulee Dam. They change water power, the turbines are a humming. Change water power, power keeps it coming. Change water power, the great generators make electric current at the Grand Coulee Dam. They turn mechanical energy. Into electrical energy when they make electric currents at the Grand Coulee Dam. Electricity. AC. E Electricity. DC. A wonderful kind of energy. That's e electricity. CC. It's the kind of energy you can change so easily. You can change it into heat in the heater. Change it into light in a lamp. Change it into motion in a motor. Change it into sound in a phone. Electricity. AC. Electricity. DC. A wonderful kind of energy. That's E. Electricity. CC. It's the kind of energy we produce so easily. You can make it with a steam or water turbine. Make it when the generator turns. Make it with a simple storage battery. Make it with a photoelectric cell. E electricity. E e electricity. A wonderful kind of energy. That's e electricity. How would modern living be? Without electricity, it would be terribly inconvenient to say the least. Can you imagine what living would be without 
electric lights, bells and clocks, heaters and refrigerators, vacuum cleaners, washers, dryers, freezers, fans and elevators, radios and TV sets, hi-fi phonographs, motion pictures, x-rays and the telephone and telegraph, electric motors and machines for home and farm and industry, our modern world is resting on electricity. It's essential in today's transportation. Vital if you want light and heat. Necessary in communication. Indispensable mechanically. Electricity. AC. Electricity. DC. A wonderful kind of energy. That's electricity. Now, tell us something about engines. Rocket or turbine or gasoline. Three different kinds of engines. Rocket or turbine or gasoline All have a similar function They convert energy for machines Separately or in conjunction Providing mechanical energy Is an engine's primary function Providing mechanical energy Is an engine's primary function Engines burn fuel, chemical energy, to create heat, heat energy. The heat makes gases expand and exert force to cause motion, mechanical energy. In a gasoline engine, the fuel explodes inside closed spaces called cylinders and forces moving parts called pistons to move down and up. This motion makes the wheels turn. Providing mechanical energy is an engine's primary function. Long, long ago the world began. Long, long before the time of man. Even then the sun was shining, shining on the earth below. Plants nourished by the sunlight flourished on the land and sea. And in time, hosts of living creatures came to be. Now long ago is far away, how do we need the sun today? If somehow the sun stopped shining, what would happen here below? Plants from the earth would vanish, vanish from the land and sea. And in time, every living creature would not be. Leaves of plants use energy from sunlight to make food. This process is called photosynthesis. Animals and people feed on the plants and obtain the energy they need. Sunlight also keeps the surface of the earth warm and makes it possible for us to exist. In fact, almost all of the energy we use on Earth comes from the sun's rays, and almost all of the energy we get from the sun comes in roundabout ways. In roundabout ways, in roundabout ways the sun gives energy. The sun gives energy in, in roundabout, roundabout ways. 
The sun's energy has been stored in the past In the plants and in animal bodies Time arches on, they are coal, oil and gas Energy in roundabout ways Ancient plants and animals died and were buried under earth and sea their fossil remains were changed into coal, oil, and gas. Today, we use these fuels as energy sources for our modern civilization. In roundabout ways, In roundabout ways the sun gives energy. The sun gives energy. In roundabout ways, the energy in moving water and wind has been brought in by the sunlight, energy from wind and water becomes energy in roundabout ways. Sunlight heats the oceans and makes the water evaporate. Later, this water falls as rain to form rivers and create water power. Winds are also created by the heating of the earth. The energy of wind can push sailboats, turn windmills, and operate electric generators on farms. In roundabout ways, In roundabout ways the sun gives energy. The sun gives energy. In roundabout ways. With the discovery of atomic energy, Scientists have found that matter can be changed into energy, and energy can be changed into matter. But even though matter and energy may change their forms, the total amount in the universe remains the same. The law of conservation, speaking universally, says you can't increase or decrease the amount of energy. Though energy may change its form and does it constantly, you can't increase or decrease the quantity. Though energy may change its form and does it constantly, you can't increase or decrease the quantity.